Welcome back in. Hope you're enjoying the sunny skies and lower humidity this evening. We've got picture perfect August weather looking out at our Marblehead Lighthouse cam. Not a cloud in the sky and that's how it's going to stay for the remainder of the evening. Also, how about that lower humidity? Our dew point of 56 is on the comfy side of that humidity scale. It's going to turn a little muggier tomorrow. A sign of some rain showers moving on through temperature wise. We're in the low 80s in Toledo and Bowling Green right now. 80 degrees currently in Finn. Looking out towards the Lake Erie shoreline, a little bit cooler in Sandusky and our western basin lake water temperature is a balmy 77 degrees. High pressure keeping sunshine in the mix for your evening, but I'm looking off to the northwest of us. Here's our next weather maker that's pushing some showers into Minnesota and that's going to arrive in our neck of the woods early tomorrow afternoon. Severe risk only a level one out of five, not expecting widespread severe weather, but an isolated stronger gusty thunderstorm certainly possible and that includes all of Northwest Ohio and Southeastern Michigan as a cold front sweeps through early tomorrow afternoon. Here's the timing. When you wake up tomorrow, it's going to be sunny. Don't expect any rain in the morning. By the early afternoon, though, a cold front approaches from the Northwest and by 1 p.m. we are pinpointing a line of showers and a few gusty thunderstorms to move on through. Let's zoom in closer to home and break down the timing. Going to start things off dry in the morning. Storms become more likely in the afternoon hours. Hours. Next pause point is going to come right around that 1 p.m. time frame. Areas like Hillsdale, Williams, and Lenaway counties starting to see that line of showers moving through by early afternoon. Right along the I-75 corridor, showers push in by 3 p.m. and those are going to move off to the lake shore by 5 p.m. Dinner time could be a little bit wet in Erie and Huron counties. Now after dinner, most area is going to dry out as that cold front moves on through. Just a couple light remaining rain showers for your evening plans. Tomorrow, 81. It's going to be a gusty day. Even when it's not raining, the winds are going to be 10 to 20 miles an hour out of the southwest, shifting to the northwest. Again, timing out those showers. It's not until the early to mid afternoon that we're going to start to see showers and some storms could continue through dinner time to perhaps sunset behind that cold front. We turn amazing and beautiful on Friday. Some gorgeous weather looking ahead towards week one of Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday, 73 degrees dry and pleasant, and it's going to be a little bit breezy for those high school football games opening up the season. The rest of the weekend Saturday starts off with a cool and comfy morning, but it's going to turn hot by Sunday, 90 degree weather by by the afternoon and the summer heat continues into early next week. We've got a few days that we could score some 90 degree weather, but then it turns a bit more seasonable by the middle of the week and by next weekend temperatures back down to 80 degrees with a less humid weather pattern once again returning. Boy, weekend setting up to be just gorgeous. Yeah, sure is We're really lucking out with that week one high school football forecast and there's going to be a little chill in the air yeah. Saturday morning with those lows in the 50s. We've got a story coming up about pumpkin spice in a little bit. Too All soon. Right. I'm just going to put that out there. A little teaser. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a week <laughs> or two. It's around the corner. Yeah, maybe a week or two. <laughs>